Hey guys, happy Thursday. For our last drawing video for a few weeks, I decided I'm going to show you all how to draw a rainbow snow leopard. I think snow leopards are one of the prettiest big cats, but of course, you know I love all kinds of cats. But snow leopards are so beautiful. They have these really cool spots. They have these big fluffy tails. And I thought, why not make it a rainbow? Because you know I love rainbows. And it's no fun to color something in all white anyway. So with this one, for sure, start with pencil because there's lots of little shapes and curves and things. This one's a little bit longer of a drawing, um, but start with pencil, get your markers, your crayons, all your stuff, and then let's get started. We're gonna start with our leopard's face here. We're gonna start with the very bottom, which is just a curved line. I'm gonna do this close to the top right corner. I'm gonna do a curved line, just like a smiley mouth. And then I'm gonna do these three little spiky, fluffy things, like for the hair. And then I'm going to draw two curved lines for the ears. Inside each ear, I'm going to draw a second curved line. So we have an area where we can color it in and also an area to put the pink. Now about in the middle of the face, just below where we put the little spiky fluffy hairs, I'm going to draw a line that kind of goes straight across and then has a little curved line on each side and a bigger curve on the bottom like that. Then coming straight down the middle of the nose, we're gonna have the straight line and two curved lines on each side that kind of meet up with the bottom of the mouth. I'm gonna do the eyes on this one a little different than we've normally been doing. You can do those circle eyes that we normally do if you feel more comfortable, but if you wanna make yours more cat-like, then try what I'm about to show you. So going straight up from the edge of the nose here, so straight above, I'm gonna draw a line that goes up and over like that. And I'm gonna make it a little thicker in the middle but stay pointy on both ends. On the other side, I'm gonna go right above the other edge of the nose and go up and over and have it be a little pointier on the ends but thicker in kind of like the middle section. Now I'm going to do a just above this point, a curved line that curves up and ends just before this point. So we don't want it to go from point to point. We want it to leave the little pointy part sticking out. Just like that. And then inside each of these, I'm going to draw a curved line well, two curved lines, like that. A big curved line for that highlight we always put in the eyes. And then for the pupils, if you want them to be more cat-like, they're gonna be kind of pointy. So I do two curved lines that touch and fill that in to make the pointy, kind of like the little slit in the eye, like that. And then the last thing I'm going to do on the face is I'm going to do a few little dots on each of the little cheeks, or rather the lips, I guess, um, so that it has the area for where the whiskers would go. Now we're going to move on and start working on the body. I'm going to make this shape here. The body kind of like curves down a little bit, then kind of goes and like bumps way out for like the back and the back legs. So we want to make that shape. Starting close to the edge of the mouth, we're gonna have a line that goes down and curves out and then curves back down, just like that. So it's like a pretty well-defined like curve right here. Then on the other side of the mouth, we're gonna do a line that kind of goes like this. It kind of makes a few little fluffy bumps, but just curves in that way. If you're doing yours in pencil first, you can just draw a nice smooth curved line first 
and then add the little fluffies after, which I think is way easier um, than if you try to do everything in marker first. Now that we got that, we're gonna add this front leg here. And I love the fluffies on this one, I'm so excited. We're gonna do the smooth side first though. So starting just above where we ended this line, we're gonna do a line that curves in a little bit and then curves out. So this one is smooth. Now, move over from this and go up a little ways. We're gonna make a fluffy leg, or a fluffy side, that starts off with a lot of space, but it's pretty quickly gonna get closer. So see how I'm letting it get closer and closer? So it starts off thicker here and then gets smaller. Now I'm going to go right over from this leg and draw kind of like a matching curved line. And I'm also just gonna go ahead and add the feet right away. So how I like to do this is, I'm gonna start with this front leg, and right here, I'm gonna do a line that curves over like that, like a backwards letter C. One, two, and then I'll do one more, three. Now I'm just gonna connect that, one, two, three. There's all sorts of ways you can draw the toes. Maybe you have a way you like better, but that's just how I like to do it. I draw the curves and then I connect them. I think it's easier. All right, now let's work on this back leg that's kind of tucked behind the front leg a little bit. So kind of in this big empty space here, we're gonna draw a curved line that just kind of goes in there. And then imagine if it kept curving and curving, it'd come out about here. Gonna add a few more little fluffies and leave it like that. So it's like a big backwards letter C with some little fluffies on it. And then the top of the foot, curved line, like that. And this can be for that first toe. So that one there. That's already one, two, and three. And let's go ahead and connect, connect. And this bottom one is actually going to just keep going and going and going until we're right below this empty space here. Now we're gonna work on the tail. So snow leopards have these huge fluffy tails. They actually kind of look like this, like really big and fluffy at the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up here and try to make like a nice curve. It's a little tight because I didn't leave a lot of room, but I have it curved and then it goes this way and then back. So I'm gonna follow along underneath here. So this will just go off the edge of the page a little bit. I think that'll look better and it curves and goes this way, and then let's do that nice, big, round end of the tail. But I didn't connect these, so I can add one little fluffy there. All right, so now we have all of our shapes for our leopard, but one of the most important parts about a snow leopard is the spots. Now, they look like they're super random, and they kind of are. There's a few different types of spots. I'll talk about how you can make these spots to be like the real snow leopard, but of course you can add as many different ones as you want. I'm gonna start off on the face because this is the part where I kind of try to make sure I put them in a certain place and the rest we just kind of do whatever. Up on the face, I'm gonna do two little dots kind of in the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna do two curved kind of oval shapes for like eyebrows, I guess, eyebrow spots. And then any other little spots I do, I'm gonna try to have them be symmetrical. Whatever I do on this side, I do the same on this side. So if I do a little curved oval here, I'm gonna do a little curved oval here. I'm gonna quickly finish up this face. All right, so the face is good. Now when we get to the body, we can do some of those big, more kind of like typical leopard spots. So when you're making a leopard spot, a lot of them are just kind of like weird, mushy ovals or kind of jelly bean shapes or kind of like 
almost like a like a square that's rounded on the corners but you can also make these shapes that are like a wobbly C shape wobbly letter C and then you can leave it empty or do a little dot kind of next to where that opening is I'm gonna do a few of these See how they're like a C or letter U or whatever, and then you do a little oval or bumpy shape there. I like to leave the chest empty, so I'm going to leave that part empty, but I'm going to put spots all over. You can do ones that are like this, like kind of like blocky but still rounded on the edges. You can do some little tiny ones. You can do some big, full, connected circle shapes. Trying to make them all a little bit different is going to actually really help your leopard look more real. So take your time trying these kind of C shapes with the little spots next to them and of course your other more blocky shapes and just fill up the body with those spots. All right, I've drawn all my shapes and now I'm going to work on coloring all of them in with black. After that, I get to color and I'm gonna talk about doing this rainbow pattern. All right, so I colored all my spots in and now I'm gonna do my rainbow. As you can see on this one, I left white here, 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 and here. So I'm gonna try to do that again when I color. But for my rainbow colors this time, um, I really like doing like a pink instead of a red. But just because I already did it on this one, I'm gonna do just like the typical rainbow colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. On this one, I did that pinkish color, orange, yellow, green, kind of a turquoisey blue and a bluish purple, which I thought looked really pretty. But you wanna grab your rainbow colors. And I like to just go one color at a time. So I'm gonna start on the face, kind of doing this red around the area I want to stay white first, so I don't accidentally color that part. I'm gonna color kind of around the eye a little bit. So I wanna leave that middle part. And then I just do a, a section of red. And next I'll take my orange and I'll just kind of color into the red a little bit so that they kind of look like they're blending together. And I'll color just a little ways up with the orange. Definitely keep in your head if you want any spaces to be white to keep in your head where you want them to be and do those first But now you guys just take your time going one color at a time to make your rainbow and don't forget which order your rainbow colors go I'll fix mine a little bit so that they're in the right order. There you go And you guys just take your time and have fun. All right guys, I'm all finished coloring in my new leopard. I do really love these rainbow colors. They're really pretty, but I still think I like this one more. It's just kind of more like pastel and pretty. They're both really cool. But I always love to try doing different colors when I do my new um, drawings because, you know, it's just fun to see. But you guys take your time, make yours however you want, and just have fun. 
All right, guys, I hope you had fun drawing your rainbow snow leopards with me today. I would love to see how you colored yours in, whether you did rainbows or something different. It would be really cool to see. And thank you again so much for doing my videos with me, and I'll see you later. Bye.